This is a sample submission tutorial for the new version of the GL Delta software in Smart Mode. Always make sure to wipe down your sample tube before you begin. Take a spinner and make sure the middle is fully extended. Then insert your sample tube into the spinner. Take one of the depth gauges, place it over the spinner in the sample tube and then push the sample tube down until it is touching the bottom of the depth gauge. Give the sample tube a twist to ensure it is touching the bottom. Use the arrow buttons on the sample holder to rotate it until an empty slot is available. Place the sample into the slot and make note of the number. After logging onto the software, press the green plus symbol to create a new sample. Enter a name, select the solvent, and write your name in the comments section. With the sample selected, choose your method with the options at the bottom. The policy box in the bottom right of the screen is very important. If day is selected, the sample will immediately be put into the queue for samples to be submitted. While if night is selected, it will only enter the queue after 6pm. If your method takes longer than 20 minutes to run, it is considered good practice to schedule it for night. The time for your method can be seen on the right of its name in the jobs menu. If you can afford to reduce the number of scans, this will significantly decrease the length of the method. This can be done in the scans box in the bottom right. Once you are satisfied with the settings, select the eject button in the bottom right to automatically eject the sample after the experiment. Then press the green submit button. When your sample has finished running, delete it with the red minus symbol on the left of the sample name. Whenever you are leaving the computer, make sure to bring up the change user screen under the connections menu in the top left. After your sample has been run, there are two main ways in which to get your results. The simplest way is navigating to the desktop and opening the NMR data folder. The spectra will be named with the sample name given, as well as the method. Make sure to take the spectrum with FT after the method name, as this is the Fourier transformed version. There is often a delay before the spectrum is viewable in the NMR data folder. If it isn't available there yet, open the GL Delta program. Go to View, Data Slate, File, Open, and the list can be seen. Again, it is important that the FT spectrum is selected. After removing your spinner from the sample holder, pull the sample out of the spinner and make sure that the middle is fully extended. Do not leave the spinner lying down, as this can cause it to get warped over time. Instead, return it to the styrofoam container once you found it. 